What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Career Mode. This is episode number 83 and we start today's episode off on the back of our duel with Hellas Verona 2-2. Just one win in our last four with Juve. Very, very difficult start for the old lady in our first season at the Allianz Stadium. And of course losing on match day one in the Champions League group stage as well. Safe to say we stumbled out of the blocks despite spending all of that money in the summer transfer window. And heading into today's episode Cagliari at the Allianz Stadium back home and able to bounce back as well. If you want to say very briefly to start today's episode off guys you can probably tell with the title and also the thumbnail as well. It's my birthday. Yes, happy birthday to me. Um, today, guys, uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but I just want to say, today I've turned 30. I know, right? Pace decrease coming very soon. <laughs> not that much to begin with, of course. But um, I just want to say, you know, it's, it, it's, it's amazing to know that I spent my entire 20s um, on YouTube. Like, literally a whole decade on YouTube. And uh, obviously, I, I did a video in, in this save uh, when it was episode number 30. You know, and, and here I am, uh, in that video I talked about turning 30 this year, and here I am now turning 30 years old. And um, I, I just want to really start the video off by saying, you know, like seriously, thank you for what has been an incredible decade on YouTube. You know, I just, I literally can't say thank you enough because um, it really is incredible uh, to, to know that for over 10 years I have been on YouTube and... I, I, I know because obviously I, I see the comments and uh, I recognize the names and, and some of you guys uh, point out, just in case my memory is shocking, that some of you have been here since the very beginning and, and some of you have been here since before I was 20, when I first started and it really is incredible when you realize that people have kind of grown up with you if you will and I've definitely grown up with you guys as well. I don't want to get too sentimental and start crying. But, uh, you know, I think it's incredible, really, when I think about all the things that have gone on in my life, and especially in my 20s, which were really chaotic. I mean, you know, 20s, for the most part, are chaotic for most people, really. Um, there's a quote in uh, a TV show I used to watch called Bojack Horseman, where Todd, uh, Todd is in his, uh, I think, mid to late 20s, and he's having a bit of an existential crisis. And, and Diane, uh, who's a little bit older, 10 years older, I think, says to Todd, that um, that's what the 20s are all about, you know, it's a series of wacky misadventures and, you know, and figuring yourself out. And for me, um, yeah, my 20s were no different. They really weren't. I mean, honestly, I, I, I can't even, you know, I'd be here for about 45 minutes talking about all the random and, and crazy things that have happened in my 20s. You know, I went from being just, uh, you know, severely uh, depressed. I attempted suicide when I was 21 years old. Uh, you know, I, I, I moved out when I was 22. Uh, to, from uh, from my small town in the southeast of England, moving up north to uh, to Manchester, a big city. Um, you know, um, slightly ashamed to admit that I got a little bit addicted to to drugs, and um, you know, well, you know, just was kind of all over the place during that period of my life. Um, for a very brief period of time, uh, you might remember, or you might not have been here at the time, but for a very brief period of time, I decided to quit YouTube in my mid twenties. And then after like four months, I realized that YouTube is just something which is within me. I remember, <laughs> just very briefly on this part, I remember I think I was 26 years old and I decided to step away from uh, from YouTube. It was 2019, so yeah, I was 26 years old. And um, I, yeah, I decided to step away from YouTube. I got what you'd call a normal job, and I'm using air quotations here, a normal job, if you will, in marketing. And I swear to God, the first week I was like, you know, I can do this. This is this is quite nice. Getting like you know full weekends to to chill and uh, you know have have the whole weekend with uh, with no need to to check social media or produce video and stuff. It's you know it's all right. Uh, next weekend I was bored as fuck. <laughs> I was like, I'm bored. I can't want to go back on YouTube. I miss it. And literally I was away from YouTube for like four months. I got glandular fever and I remember literally being. Um, they thought I had sepsis or, or possibly HIV and I ended up going to hospital for a brief period of time just to make sure it wasn't anything more sinister. But I remember lying in there in the hospital and thinking, man, as soon as I get out of here and recover, I'm going right back on YouTube. And I did because for FIFA 20, um, uh, late 2019, I came back with a new career mode and you guys literally were right back there. You know, even though I've been off YouTube for four months, you guys are right back there. And I think that was the moment I realized that not only is YouTube within me and something I'll just never be able to quit because I love it so much, it's my favorite thing. 
to know that you guys have, have always been there for me and you know I, I hope fingers crossed will continue to be there for me and with me as, as my 30s uh, start today as well um, you know I just can't say thank you enough for that because after that I um, I obviously you know I, I moved out and uh, you know I'm in the place I'm living in now in a house here with some wonderful wonderful people I've, I've lived with different housemates and wonderful wonderful people and you know I've I've had uh, relationships, uh, you know, I've, uh, I've gained incredible friends. In fact, I've made like a new, you know, one of my, uh, my new very close friends. I only met like a, a couple of years ago. We've already become very, very close. And, you know, just, just things like this, I, I realized that like my 20s have been just filled with so much drama and so much craziness. But anyway, the point I'm getting to here um, is that for those of you that have known me for a long time and for those that have known me since the early 20s, um, you know, you, you'll know, well, as I said it earlier, you know, I was very heavily depressed. I, you know, once attempted suicide. I was very, very down for the most part in my in my early twenties. Um, but now, as I, I sit here and record this commentary uh, as a thirty-year-old now, I can say that I don't feel like I am depressed anymore. Uh, at least, at least, certainly nowhere even close to where I was I, I would probably say my therapist uh, made a very good point when I first began therapy and this is a year and a half ago um, you know she asked me what my expectations were and I basically just said well see like you know I said in my sort of like initial consultation for you that like my, my depression has kind of consumed you know practically my my entire well really my entire adult life and um, I wanted to you know deal with that as best as I could and then hopefully I could do that through the case uh, through the uh, the way of uh, medication and, and, and therapy as well and um, she made a very good point she's very honest and open about it on the very first session I had with her she said you know depression and when you've had it such a long period of time um, it might not be a case of you know curing it per se but learning to manage it um, and maybe that's exactly what this has become but I can say right now that this is the the, the, the best I've managed it since I've known I've had depression since I was diagnosed with it in my teenage years as well. This is the best I've been able to manage it. Um, am I happy? No, of course not. I mean, happiness is a, is a mood and not a state anyway, but even so, I guess the right word is, are you content? Am I content? No, absolutely not. You know, I'm very ambitious. There's loads of stuff I want to do, obviously. Um, you know, and I, I certainly still feel there's a long way to go in my life. I think it'll be a long time until I do feel content. But one thing I will say is that in terms of, you know, managing my depression and, and feeling, you know, like I've got a good handle on it, this is the very, very best and most secure, if you will, I have felt since I was diagnosed as a teenager, which was unfortunately, as I say now, a very, very long time ago. And uh, there are many reasons as to why that is, um, but one of the biggest is definitely because I, you know, know for sure that I found my kind of like calling, if you will, on uh, on YouTube. But also as well, um, no doubt about it too. Like the support I have had um, from all of you guys during this time has been absolutely incredible. And um, yeah, I I can't say thank you enough for um, what has been an incredible decade of support and, and all I can say is you know I really really hope that you know I get another 10 years you know from uh, from my 30s into my 40s you know I, I hope that I can have uh, another decade and um, yeah um, I don't know I'm, I'm rambling a little bit now so I guess I'll stop there Anyway, uh, heading into today's episode, let me talk about the gameplay real quickly. So we started off with a, a big win uh, to bounce back after a really tough run of form. A uh, big win against Cagliari, responding from the Hellas Verona draw. Uh, then we beat Lazio by three goals to nil. Three quick goals in the first half there as we won comfortably. And then our first win in the Champions League group stage. But my God, we had to grind it out. We had to grind it out. Yep, really, really tough game. Taking on Slavia Prague away in the Czech Republic. I was thinking this is a massive game already because they lost match day one like us against Celtic. So this is a huge game for both teams and neither side can afford to lose. We fell behind early. We've got back on level turns for a giant throw-in. It's my first giant throw-in goal in years. And it's fitting it comes on my 30th birthday. Literally when I scored that goal, I was like, do you know what? Like, seriously, I... 
I feel like this is fate. My first giant throwing goal in literally years. Weston McKennie launching it into the area and Dusan Vlahovic heading home. And in a really topsy-turvy game, we won a penalty late on. Weston McKennie converted it. And then we got the dagger in stoppage time. Huge grind out 4-2 victory and our first win in the group stage. First time this season we won back-to-back. -back. Now three in a row. And for our final game on today's episode, the big one, taking on AC Milan. And biggest test of the season so far. Coming on the back of three straight wins. Could we extend it to four? Well, crazy frenetic start against the league leaders as we were expecting. We saw a ball cleared off the line as it was still 1-0. and then, uh, Sorry, as it was still 0-0. And then soon afterwards, Dusan Vlahovic. Whilst we struggled to form to start the season off, this guy hasn't. Vlahovic with another goal gives us the lead, chipping it over Mike and into the back of the net. Man, oh man, this guy. I was so excited to use him for the first time. Never used him before. He's just as good as I was hoping. He's unbelievable. So, yeah, in front by a goal. But I'll be totally honest here. I was, I was hanging on at absolutely hanging on especially in the second half Milan had hit the woodwork without a ball clear off the line they did hit the bar the woodwork for the second time from a corner where Donnarumma got caught in no man's land we failed to clear it fully and eventually it was turned in by Conway Conway with the goal as Milan found there I'll be honest here totally deserved leveler yet would have grinded out an undeserved 1-0 victory had I somehow held on in the end I just couldn't do so a 1-1 draw probably the right result. Milan stop our winning run, but at least the unbeaten run is extended to five and we stop the rot. Even so, they still lead the way by two points and a big missed opportunity for us to go top of the table. But that will end today's episode of Karimo, guys. Big thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you had not please drop a like. I say it every single time and I'll say it again. Much love to you all from a 30-year-old Dox. Oh, getting old. And uh, I'll see you for the next episode of Career Mode. And I'm sure many more to come as well. Very soon.